Hi, my name is Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to show you how a microprocessor works. I have a diagram on my PC that I'm going to pull up here. This is a simple diagram of a microprocessor. Now, uh, this box right here is going to be the microprocessor, and these two boxes down here are separate from the processor. If you ever heard anybody refer to uh, RAM or memory, that's what this little box here is going to refer to, is going to represent. And RAM and memory is basically the space that your computer uses to do its calculations. And it more or less holds a whole lot of numbers that the computer will do its operations on. ROM is uh, built-in memory that does not change, and that would be sort of like your motherboard's uh, programming. And that tells the processor how it should handle commands. Now, inside of our processor, we have basically three uh, separated units. We have a control unit, which is uh, what loads in the, uh, the commands from the RAM or the ROM and sends them off to be processed. We have registers. Now, registers are uh, small areas inside of the processor that store single values. And inside of those registers is what, uh, is what the uh, processor uses to do its calculations. Like it'll load a 1 into 1 register and a 2 into another register, run an uh, addition command on those two, and you'll get an output of 3 that's stored in another register. So basically that's how it does its, um, its uh, processing. Now the ALU is probably one of the more, uh, more complicated parts of the processor. It is what actually does the math inside of the processor. It is hardwired to take uh, two numbers and add them together or subtract, which will actually be adding a negative is how it does that. Uh, it can do multiplication by uh, looping through addition and division by looping through subtraction. And it is what basically takes all of your numbers and does all the operations. And it communicates back with these registers, which then sends the responses back to RAM, and the rest of your computer operates on what's in the memory. So that's how a microprocessor works. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how a microprocessor works.